looking right, you got the ice with it. A conversation with me will change your life. Your wife wants a pipe, and when I hit, you feel a slight difference. In her box, my cock's bigger. I'm hot, nigga. She don't rock with you. She got with you for dough. Your hoes a thought. If you fuck around, I'll take your mom, kiss her fucker, then I'm taking your hot sister. Your girl, not a sock girl. Your girl, not a sock girl. Your girl, not a sock girl. You shit that chick up in my world. You cuff that bitch, I'ma fuck that bitch. You in love that chick, we'll suck that dick. That slut will kick you out your house, man. Fuck your couch. I'm Rick James, bitch. I'll take your bitch and fuck her mouth, nigga. You bitchin' cause I'm smashing your hoe, you so passionate though You would laugh for to go on the trip, now you trippin' Because I got her ass, you actin' vaginal, bro I'll give her back, blow her back out, then go Nigga, act like you know Shivering is caring, nigga, I dare a nigga To swear that niggas can get to his chick I put fear in niggas, they scared this nigga Will take the girl and make her my bitch you the type to die for a slut You lie just to fuck You like to get drunk and high Just to get the courage to say hi You a punk You want to get some ass But then you act like a monk uh -huh. She's stringing you along It's going on like a monk uh -huh. You spending all this dough She still ain't touching your junk right. She taking off her pennies And you smelling the funk You say you hate it But you ate it Even though that it stunk Nasty ass nigga Your girl Not a sock girl Your girl Not a sock girl Your girl Not a sock girl you shit that chick up in my world. I'ma keep fucking your lady. My pull-out game's amazing. We ain't having a baby. You bitching, moaning, and crying, complaining, acting crazy because I'm fucking your girl. You punk ass, you pay me. Get cash to smash your whack ass chick. You too stupid to realize I'm teaching your whack ass shit. All up in your feelings, you feeling all attached and it's making you go crazy. And maybe if you had that shit we call game, you know you can't control no hoe. No matter if she's bad or right or just so so. You trying to control that bitch? That's a no no. You worried about other niggas? Niggas, that's so homo. Pause. Niggas wanna be so romantic, but they chick me all up on another man's dick. I be on that man shit. They be acting man, Nick. I don't think these guys know what a man is. Y'all thinking you're out here winning with your money and status. You're thinking you're rich. But how you see yourself as a winner if I can ruin your day by smashing your bitch? What up, what up, what up, what up? What's poppin'? What's good? What's good? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to April MC in the building. Shout out to Joe Blast in the building. What's going on? Certified Tyrone. Five Snug Waves is going on. Uh, Steve O oh, Baby, monogamous player, is in the building. What's up with you? Um, shout out to who else we got up in here? Uh, Jug Season 50 Fits Well. What's going on, bro? Reggie Brock Pimp. Speed was good. Raul was going on. Kwame, what up? Uh, con uh, content strategy was good. Was going on. And my dude, Miles Cunningham, is in the building. Ain't you supposed to be on a data, son? I thought you was a player. What happened, son? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I, had, I had mad flakes this week, bro. <laughs> I had mad fucking flakes this week. I got Miles Cunningham in the building. <laughs> Yo. Crazy. Hold on, hold on, Killing, bro. man. So yeah, so so today, guys, we're gonna be talking about five types of men that women don't want to have sex with. Okay, God. this is so. If you're any one of these types of guys, man, uh, you know, I, I just, I just, I just feel bad for you, man. Just hope, just, mm -hmm. just make sure you're not one of these types of guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to, I'm about to send you the the, uh, the list, Miles, so you could, so you could see it real quick. Okay, okay. Before we go in and shit, you know what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, man, if you're any one of these types of guys, man, it's about to be a wrap for you. So this is why we tell you guys to make sure that you get up on your game, step up your shit. You feel what I'm saying? So you don't be one of these types of dudes and having trouble in the game. You feel what I'm saying? Nice. But um, and make sure, remember, guys, make sure y'all go to uh badboymembership.com to join the bad boy membership. The masculine identity membership is coming soon at the end of the month. So you got you got a lot of game coming. Towards you guys. And shout out to KZag and 20 in the chat. What's good? What's good? What's going on? What's popping? But yeah, and if you have a question, put a Q in the chat and we'll get to the questions in a second. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you guys do all that, that uh that good stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, man. So I wanted to make this list because you know, a lot of guys out there, um, yeah, try to get shit popping. 
And there are times where women actually don't want to have sex with you. Now, this doesn't mean that a woman isn't going to have sex with you at some point or maybe, at you know, she might do it. But what I'm saying is she don't really want to, meaning she doesn't have a desire to. She, she would rather not. She would rather be doing someone else than you. Um, but there are circumstances where she might end up having sex with you because of, you know, a certain situation. But in general, what you want is you want women who actually want to have sex sex with you who desire you who look at you and say damn like i really want this guy in my guts you understand what i'm saying like you want the chick to fucking you know what i'm saying be that type of woman you feel what i mean and if she's not then it's kind of going to be a struggle sometimes this is why a lot of guys have struggles in a game and they have uh situations where they're not having success and it feels like they're pulling teeth dealing with women is because the women actually are not sexually attracted to you like that they don't they really don't want to do it you know right. what I mean? but understand women will do it for other reasons right and we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit in in here so guys we want to call in 516-387-1224 we ain't gonna be here too long because you know it's fucking saturday night and shit you know what i'm saying i'm trying to Make other shit happen. But but, uh, but I was like, let me get up on here real quick and see what's popping with you guys. So this is in no order of importance, but we're going to go one through five, but we're going to get it in. All right. So the first type of guy, first type of guy, right, that women don't like having sex with. And, and this is a lot of guys out here that be doing shit. The first type of guy is guys who use their money to try to get women. OK. <laughs> Now, we talked about this before a bazillion times, but guys who use their money to try to get women, these women don't want to have sex with guys like that. You understand what I'm saying? A woman does not want to have sex with you because you have money. I'm going to say that again. A woman does not want to have sex with you because you have money. I'll say that one more time for the people in the back. A woman does not want to have sex with you because you have money. So all you motherfuckers that's talking about, I need to get my money up. You're if, if if you're doing that for women, you're wasting your time. So, <laughs> so Lucario, why, how come niggas with money get all the bitches? Exactly. I'm glad you asked that right there, because the reason why they get the, the, the chicks is because the chicks are using them for the resource. And then what some women say is, well, you know what? I've been out with this guy for a while. I've been using him so much and he's been trying to get this pussy. So yeah. let me let me just give him some so he could stop pestering me for the pussy and I can keep getting the resources and attention and whatever this guy's giving me with his money. So a lot of you guys got to understand that she does this, but she doesn't want to have sex with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? She does not want to do it. And when a woman doesn't want to do it, you usually get lackluster sex. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. she doesn't want to do it. The sex is trash. Mm -hmm. you know, she doesn't give you her best. So you got to understand that if you're the type of guy who has money and you're using that to acquire a woman and you're getting sex because of that, understand that you're usually going to have to wait a while to get it unless you're just tricking like straight out. Or if you do get it, it's going to be a woman who just is kind of doing it because she feels like obligated and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Well, Miles, what's your thoughts on that shit, though? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, women, it's a woman's job to find access to resources. Mm. And right. women, women are, you know, a lot of times, you know, you might hear guys say that men, women have more games than men. Right. I mean, it's it's a debatable topic. But the thing with women is that. Women are women are like double agent spies, like in the movies mm -hmm. where they do whatever they have to do to achieve the to achieve the, you know, the the mission. Right. And the mission is access to resources. So if I have to. Act like I want to sleep with you mm -hmm. to get access to your resources, I'll do it. Shit. If I have to sleep with you. Right. To get access to your resources, I'll do it because mm -hmm. because I, I know women that string men along for years. Mm hmm. And just flirt with niggas. Right. You understand? Flirt with niggas and be sending them like, you know, texts and all of this type of shit. Mm. And pictures of they ass and shit, but never actually fucking nigga. Right. Exactly. But all of that stuff is good enough for the man to spend money on them. You know, right. put gas in their car, pay their they phone bill, get, send them money so they could get their hair done, buy them stuff, mm -hmm. that type of shit. You see what I'm saying? And chicks will take whatever a man will give. Right. And, 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 and. And, you know, there's a lot of chicks out there. They have multiple men that do these type of things for them. Mm. So if you have you, you remember a long time ago, there was that chick that she um, I think she finessed like 16 niggas to buy her an iPhone. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then she sold all the iPhones and bought a house. You remember that shit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was this Asian broad, I think. You know, and so, you know, you know, and and then guys will say, well, as long as I'm fucking, why should I care, Lucario? But like you said, you answered the question already. You said the sex is lackluster. Right. You understand? And when guys, and I don't want to be too long-winded, but the thing is, is that when you're in the when you've been in the game at at a certain level, mm. you've experienced women that really want you. Right. Like women, women that that fucking, you know, they they want to like if if your soul spilled spilled out on the on the concrete, <laughs> they would lick it up. Right. Right. Exactly. Like 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 on some on some metaphorical shit. If somebody if somebody cut you and and your soul turned into liquid and spilled out on the concrete, mm. they would they would fucking. Right, exactly, exactly. They like you that much, like they're really into you. Mm-hmm. When you when you've been at the, the, the when you're in the game and you're at that level, and you know what really good sex feels like because a bitch is feeling you. Right. You never want to have regular like lackluster sex again. Exactly. Like, like you like you never want to experience sex the way that these fake ass leading with their money niggas is experienced experiencing sex because right, you know sometimes what happens is see there's a difference between women having that sex where they they're desiring you heavy and yeah. then when women are having the get it over with sex you understand what i'm saying like or the or the starfish sex exactly like like the chick is just like all right just do what you got to do get your nut and leave me the fuck alone type of sex yeah. and, and see that's that's the type of sex a lot of these guys who have money get when they're just using the money because what you guys have to understand is this is that nowadays women have their own money, right? So they're not so caught up on it. But even if they have their own money, they'll still use your money because they're like, well, I'll use my money if I can use his money and save my money, right? But but what happens is, is that when women are using you for that shit, right? Sex becomes a job. You understand what I'm saying? It becomes the, the, the thing they have to do to keep the money rolling in. So if a woman is fucking with, let's say three dudes, right? And all three of those dudes is giving her, let's say they give her like $500 a week. And so she getting $1,500 of, of just free money from these three guys. Now, with these three guys, she doesn't even have to have sex with them all the time. It could just be once in a blue or she's stringing them along for a few months. And she just has to make you believe that she's not that type of girl, that she has a low body count, that she's, you understand all that? good. See, let me tell you something. That's how y'all niggas get caught. All y'all idiots who be thinking women have low body counts, how y'all think they be tricking y'all motherfuckers into stringing y'all along so they can get your resources and time and attention? Because your dumbass wants to believe she has a low body count, so she sells you the dream of the woman who has a low body count, and then therefore she can extract whatever she needs to get out of you. You understand? I mean, that's that's whole other other side note that dudes don't get out here in these streets. It's terrible. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So that that also happens, too. So that's number one. So number one, if you're the type of guy who uses his money to, you know, get women, women don't want to have sex with you. It's just they just don't want to do it. You feel what I'm saying? That's what it is. Now, the second one, this is the one that a lot of guys don't get and they still they just never get this. But this is this is another one that's very important. So the second thing on the list of the type of men that women don't want to have sex with is good looking guys with no sex appeal. (laughs) Good looking guys with no sex appeal. And guys, this is why I tell y'all, y'all have to go and get the book. Looks don't matter. Make sure you guys go to mrlocario.com to get that book today. You go to mrlocario.com to get looks don't matter. Seven ways to attract women without your looks. Because in that book, I break it down how you can use all the other things outside of your looks to actually attract women. And in that book, also I talk about how there's a difference between physical attraction and sexual attraction. So when a woman sees a good looking dude, right? But there's no sex appeal there. She doesn't want to have sex with him because he does not make her feel sexually attracted to him. She's not sexually attracted, even though she's physically attracted. So if a good looking guy has no sex appeal to a woman, that means he is only physically attractive. He is not sexually attractive. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's what a lot of guys don't get. This is why when dudes always talk about, yo, it's all about looks, it's all about looks. And it's like, bro, if it's all about looks, but this guy's looks don't turn the woman on, then what difference does it make? 
Fact. You see what I'm saying? She's still not going to fuck him. Right. So he's going to be a good looking guy not getting sex. Right. So, so what the fuck is the difference? You see what I'm saying? And see, a lot of guys don't understand this. It's like this. The other day, I was um I was chilling with April and, and, and her and her hair was smelling like coconut. And I was like, yo, that shit smell mad good. I was like, I love the way this shit smell, but I fucking hate eating coconut. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So so I like the smell, but I don't want to eat it. You understand what I'm saying? So the woman could like your look, but she don't want to fuck with you. You understand what I'm saying? That's right. what you have to understand. So this is why sometimes, and it's the funny part, you have guys out here who are what I would call good looking, lame, nerd, nerdy, goofy type of niggas. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning, like, for example, the the the, the video that went viral with that nuclear physicist nigga. You understand what I'm saying? A yeah. lot of women were like, yo, that's a, he's so good looking, blah, blah, blah. But he had that like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like he just was, there was nothing there. Nuclear, nuclear, nuclear physicist. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, I got 92, uh, 92 out of a 91 right. uh, on my SATs. And I, uh... <laughs> it's like, yo, you just, you just feel the, 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 the nerdiness in it. You understand? It's just like, come on, man. Like, exactly. This shit is just like blah. You understand? And so when a woman is dealing with that guy, she's like, yeah, he's cute. He's 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 a handsome guy, but he just don't he don't get my pussy wet. Exactly. And, and then so what happens is, is that if you're one of these guys, you have to understand that you're the handsome, good looking dude, Damn. but you have no sex appeal. So if you hear women telling you how handsome you are, but they ain't trying to fuck you. You understand? If mm-hmm. you keep get, if you keep hearing women saying, "Man, you know, uh, you know, you're a good looking guy," but they don't want to have sex with you, you're that good looking guy that has no sex appeal. If you, oh. you know, say if you get matches on Tinder all day and you're going out on dates and none of these chicks want to fuck you, you're the good looking guy with no sex appeal. Yo, I hate when bitches say, "Hey, handsome" or some shit like that. Oh, yeah, that's the worst. <laughs> like I hate when bitches like tell me I look good or some shit like that. I'd be like, "Oh man, she don't want to fuck me." Mm. <laughs> like, oh shit she ain't trying to fuck God. Right, exactly right <laughs> like she really just like how i look oh. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's crazy and that and that, that's what a lot of these dudes on the internet on the interwebs need to understand because y'all gonna be fucking y'all motherfuckers is striving to look like chad and tyrone you're doing all this looks maxing and gym maxing and all that other shit you do all of that stuff only to find out you're still not getting sex Mm. And then that's going to fuck with your self-esteem even more. Right. Like, Damn, I'm doing all this shit and I still, you know, can't get shit going. This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? This is ridiculous. So so a lot of guys don't understand that where you're going to be the, the, the good looking dude with no fucking sex appeal. It's terrible. So make sure you guys are not that guy. You feel what I mean? Now, let's get to the third one. Oh, this is just just obvious this is the, the the shit that you should all know by now so the third type of guy that women don't want to have sex with are nice guys oh. now let me let me say something real quick because i saw a dude that wrote a comment that that annoyed the shit out of me because i hate when dudes write shit and i just be like this nigga don't know what the fuck he's talking about and he on my page and niggas is reading this shit and being misguided and then it's like it just annoys the shit out of me so this dude he said he said he said some shit like he was like you know I don't get Locario and Miles because they keep talking about all this be yourself stuff and be authentic, but then they're trying to tell people to join the the bad boy membership. And what if I'm not a bad boy? Shouldn't it be called the be yourself membership? (laughs) That's that's exactly why I've been doing all these fucking commercials so niggas can really understand what the bad boy membership is all about. Right. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Because obviously niggas don't get it. Like they just look at the name and they probably think some dumb shit. Right, exactly, because this is what guys don't understand. And the reason why I bring this up is because it goes with the nice guy situation. Exactly. What you guys have to understand is saying nice guy or bad boy is a thing called an archetype. Mm. Archetype is a type of person, right? Now, what happens is, is that the nice guy is the opposite of the bad boy, right? Now, what happens is, is that when you're being a nice guy, 
that's you actually not being yourself. Right. So if being a nice guy is you not being yourself, because what nice guys do is they pretend to be nice. They do whatever they think the woman wants. They try to impress the woman by being extra nice. They do all this other shit outside of the character because they want the girl to like them. So they think, oh, if I do this thing, the girl will like me. So by by that whole situation, you're you're not being yourself because you're doing something to try to get the girl to like you instead of being who you are. Now, if not being yourself is the nice guy and that's the opposite of the bad boy, then that would mean that the bad boy is actually being your fucking self. Because, because what happens is this, and let me, let me show you how deep it gets. You feel what I'm saying? Let me show you how deep it gets. The reason why it's the bad boy is not because you're a bad person. It's not because you're evil. It's not because you're a dick or an asshole. What it is, what it is is this. What you have to understand is, is that a masculine man is already going to basically clash, in a sense, with feminine women. And what I mean by that is this, is that the, 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 the real, authentic, masculine man that you are, exactly, you see the shirt right there, men and women are not equal. You see what I'm saying? The real masculine man that you are is always going to clash with the ideas that feminine women have. So what does that mean? That means that when it clashes, the woman is going to look at you like you're an asshole, like you're a jerk, because what's going to happen is, is the woman's going to say, I want to do this, this and that. And you're like, Nah, I ain't doing that shit. I'm doing this shit. And if you want to fuck with me, you're going to do the shit I'm trying to do. She's like, oh, my God, you're such an asshole. You see what I'm saying? But you're not being an asshole. You're just being yourself. You're being that man. That's why they call you an asshole. That's why the woman likes the bad boy, because the bad boy is the real nigga. Do you see what I'm saying? So that's what you got to understand. It's still synonymous with being yourself because if you were actually being yourself, you would be that guy that she's looking at as that masculine man doing his, doing what he wants to do, which is the thing that attracts her to you because it's the opposite of the, the feminine. You right. see what I'm saying? Exactly. So that, that's, what, that's what guys got to understand. So a lot of dudes be on this shit where they think we're telling them to be something they're not. no. We're trying to tell you to cut, to, to take off all the bullshit that society told you where you were supposed to be and actually be who the fuck you are, right? Mm -hmm. And when you be who you are, women are going to see you as the bad boy. They're not going to see you as the nice guy. They're going to see you as that archetype of bad boy because that is who you are going to be in relation to her femininity. Right. You see exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> Who's going to get because 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 that's it and that's it and that's the disingenuous shit about the bad boy is they're they're trying to you know they're always trying to make make sure that the woman never gets upset are you talking about the nice guy you said the bad boy. i said the bad boy yeah the um yeah the nice guy right because right. nice guys don't know anything about the 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 emotional roller coaster that a woman needs to have in order mm -hmm. to stimulate it right Understand? Right. They don't, you know, I mean, dare I dare I reference uh, uh, PUA rhetoric? You know, when they talk about the push and pull and all that bullshit. Right. It's it's a, it's a similar concept. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't just you can't you can't survive by just making a fucking woman or trying to make a woman happy. Right. That's why it just it only makes sense for you to do what you're supposed to do. Mm hmm. Because there's sides of you that are gonna that she's gonna be cool with, and there's sides of you that she's not gonna be cool with. But as long as it's actually you, mm -hmm. if she's feeling you, she's gonna figure it out emotionally for herself. Right. But that's the that's the activity that stimulates a woman when she's when she's interested in you. She'll be interested in working out the emotions to stay with you. Right. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, but if you're a nice guy, it's like there there's no emotions to work out. Mm -hmm. you're just a fucking you're 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 vanilla you're vanilla ice cream there's nothing to figure out all, all, all i have to do is you know put a spoon in you and it's it's done right mm -hmm. and but but when you were when you were bad boy or when you're being authentically yourself it's like it's it's variety out here it's rocky road it's 31 different flavors it's mm -hmm. you know a bitch gotta figure shit out she's like oh shit this nigga's this he's this he's that mm -hmm. it's not this and he's definitely not that so i go shit i gotta 
but I like this nigga though. I gotta figure it out. I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta minimize my emotions over here, but I have to pl- up, play up my emotions over here because I fucked mm-hmm. this nigga. You feel right. me? So, exactly. Yeah. And the thing is with nice guys, women don't want to have sex with nice guys because they know nice guys are bullshitters. Exactly. They know that nice guys are being fake. They know that nice guys are presenting a false image. So what happens is, is that she's not able to feel him. Meaning she's not able to really feel out the situation and, and attach that feeling to this guy because she doesn't know who the fuck she who she don't know who he is. Right. You know what I'm saying? She's not seeing who the guy actually is. So when you're playing this nice guy role, right? She's she's already met that type of dude. Because this is what you gotta understand, right? The problem the, the main problem with nice guys and why they don't turn women on and why women aren't really fucking with them like that is because Women say to themselves, well, why would a guy do all of this stuff for me and he don't even know me? Why would a guy do all this stuff for me? I haven't even done anything for him. What what did I do to actually earn this type of, you know, attention and energy from a man? So what happens is, is that also women have been in situations where they've dealt with a nice guy. Because the reason why a lot of women don't like nice guys, too, is because At some point, most women have dealt with a guy who was a nice guy or a guy who was basically like having that type of vibe. Then when the guy didn't get what he wanted, which was some pussy, then he turned into a fucking dick. You understand what I'm saying? And he turned into like a real fucked up nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now that gets her antennas up. So she's like, okay, the next time I run into these nice guys, I'm just going to avoid them altogether because I know how they get when they don't get what they want. And right. I ain't trying to fuck with that. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. So, so they, ain't, they just ain't trying to do that shit. And, they, and there ain't no way they trying to have sex with a nigga like that. They just like, that shit is, is a super turn off. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to understand this. So when you guys are on that, because this is what a lot of nice guys do. A lot of nice guys think being a nice guy is honorable. They're like, but I'm a nice guy. Look at what I, all these nice things I do. And all these bitches over here don't respect the nice guy that I am. And they just keep getting with these assholes. And that's why they're going to hit the wall. And, but you know, they do all that shit. So they want to rationalize the bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? Fucking crazy. But anyway, so that's number three. Now, number four, the fourth type of motherfucker that women don't like to have sex with is men in their feelings. Okay. <laughs> All you guys in your feelings who get super emotional, who like to cry and whine and bitch all the time. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like, listen, man, let me tell you guys a a, a tip that you did to, to, you know, with this whole social media shit, right? If you want to get pussy, do not on your Facebook or Instagram Mm. start complaining about women. Exactly. Or shit about just don't do it. I'm telling you guys. Listen, if you are on Facebook or Instagram and you write in posts or post in memes about, oh, you know, she's for the streets and these bitches out here is on some bullshit all the time. And this chick fucking did this to me and that to me. And how come women and hoes be always like if you're one of these type of dudes that's always posting shit like that, I'm telling you. You are not going to get the amount of pussy you want. And there's a lot of pussy you're going to be actually losing out on because let's say you're doing online dating. These chicks will fucking search your ass. You understand? Women are detectives out here. You Mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? So what a lot of women will do is they'll go and look at your page, right? They'll look at your Instagram, they'll look at your Facebook. You feel what I'm saying? And then they'll see, okay, this nigga's a loser. This motherfucker, he 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 he's talking mad shit. He sounds like a misogynist. It, that, that, all that crazy shit. But that's because you're in your feelings, you know, bitching and moaning and complaining about women. So that's one thing. Then you have the guys out there that will deal with women. And what they'll do is, is that they'll get real upset because shit isn't going the way they want. Like, just like how even what, what's that nigga? Um, Tyrese. Tyree's been crying on his fucking social media because his girl broke up and then I think they got back together and some other goofy shit. And what happens is that when you're that type of guy mm-hmm. who is crying and in, the, in their feelings about dealing oh. with a woman, you feel what I'm saying? What from me? <laughs> At 804, we're going to get to your call in a second. But it's the thing. If you're one of those crying, whining ass motherfuckers, right? 
chicks are not going to want to have sex with you because that shit right there dries up the pussy heavy. That shit right there, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and also, if you're one of those dudes that's crying, whining, bitching, but also if you're if you're the type of guy who loves to confide in a woman about all your problems, yo, it's, that's not gonna make her want to fuck you. Yo, I learned that shit early, bro. Yo, I learned that shit early in the game, bro. Mm-hmm. You yo, know what I'm saying? Hey, let me tell you, let me tell you something, man. This masculinity shit, like being a man, is a cold fucking game, man. Exactly. You got to know that being a man is a cold fucking game. Ain't no, ain't no fucking, ain't nobody sorry for you out here. And then don't, and don't nobody give a fuck neither. You feel me? Exactly. Exactly. Crazy, man. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. But let's go to A04 real quick and then we'll get to the last one in a minute. So, uh, A04, A04 is popping. Who this? Hello, mate. This is Wheat Waffles. Wheat Waffles, uh, <laughs> say no guy Wheat Waffles. Uh, did you donate? Hello, hello mate. Did you donate? It's all about looks, mate. Nigga, I'm about to c- we cut your ass off. Looks, mate. I'm about to cut your punk ass off. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here, you damn nigga. He, he couldn't even do the accent right. Nigga, if you go on, if you go on, uh, fucking imitate somebody, please work on the accent. See, y'all niggas, I don't like y'all troll niggas anymore, man. Y'all don't even put no effort into y'all you shit, man. Man. Yeah, man, that's crazy. No effort, man. Damn, like, like, study the nigga's voice, get that shit down pat, and then call in. You feel what I'm saying? Because I, I probably would have thought it was the nigga, but it, that wasn't him. I know how the nigga sound. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. This nigga, these niggas is lazy with it, man. They can't even troll correctly. God damn. But anyway, uh, so so this is, the la- this is the last one we got here. So the fifth one right here, the fifth type of guy that women don't want to have sex with is guys with no goddamn mouthpiece. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all, y'all do not get it. This is why, guys, listen, make sure that you guys go to badboymembership.com. I have a whole program called How to Have a Tight Mouthpiece. Okay? <laughs> go get that right now at badboymembership.com. How to have a tight mouthpiece. Because niggas need a tight mouthpiece. Because if you don't have a tight mouthpiece, what will happen is, is that the vagina will dry up. So even, let's say, for example, a woman sees you, she's physically attracted to you then and she's like oh you know she's sexually attracted to you because of the way you look but then you start talking to her and then she all of a sudden don't want to have sex with you no more right. you know what I'm saying? or a woman's giving you choosing signals because i know you got niggas love choosing signals and then you go and approach her and you ain't got no mouthpiece and then she don't want to fuck with you right you understand what i'm saying because see if you have a if you have a good mouthpiece right a good mouthpiece, you can get a woman wet by the things you say and how you say it and the words you use. You understand? And then on the flip side, you can dry a woman up who initially was thinking about it and then she's not going to want to fuck with you because the shit you said or did made her pussy dry. You know what I'm saying? So you guys have to understand this shit where a lot of times because you don't have a tight mouthpiece, yeah, that's the type of shit that'll make or break the situation. You see what I'm saying? Like this times where when you're talking to a woman, you at a bar at a club or whatever, and you know how to get into a conversation that'll make a woman really excited sexually because you're talking that shit, you're building that sexual tension, you're flirting, you're going in, you're making that shit heavy. And the things that you're saying are turning her on. Right. You understand? So, you know, you, you, you walk up to a chick, you'd be like, yo, why are you looking at me like that? She's like, what do you mean? I wasn't looking at what you look at. Listen, listen, I saw you looking at me like that. Listen, it's okay. I, I know, I know I'm the flyest nigga in the room, but if you're going to look at me like that, you got to come over and say, hi, that's really rude. You know? <laughs> so, I, I caught, I caught the, it was a, a recent date. This chick, every time she would say something about me, mm-hmm. Or like pertaining to like sex or something, right? Well, it wasn't even like really sex or nothing, but it was. Yeah, well, actually, it was because I, I I brought the I turned the conversation sexual, right? Now she said anything concerning me, mm-hmm. she, she she would do this thing with her tongue, right? She would always stick her tongue out because you know how a lot of uh, some of these chicks nowadays it'd be like ow and they go ow. right right right. <laughs> so we, she was she was talking. We was talking like we was trying to differentiate the difference between you know. A woman having, you know, uh, secretions mm-hmm. and squirting. Right. 
And she was like, she was like, I got a picture of my secretions. I can show you. She was like this. And I was like, you see, you keep doing that shit with your tongue. Every time you do that shit with your tongue, I know, I know I'm making the pussy wet. Mm-hmm. Like, <sighs> she was like, how could you, how could you? Bitch tried to act like she was like, you know, when they try to act like, well, I never. They try exactly, to act like, right, right. <laughs> but, but they already feeling you and they can't help it. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Exactly. I'm like, I, I'm like, that's the second time you did that shit with your tongue. Mm-hmm. I know, I know you feeling me. It's OK. Right. It's, right. Okay. it's OK if you feeling me. Just, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, just admit it. Just 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 succumb to the to the, you know, to the masculinity like you good. Don't worry about it. Exactly. I don't know. You trouble. You trouble. Like when you when you start getting a bitch like that, you know it's over, bro. Like you know it's a wrap. You feel me? So and that's a tip for you guys, man. I talk about that on a bad boy membership where you tell a woman that she wants you. you that's all. That's that's all we've been saying this whole time. We, we're just telling the woman that she wants us. You look at her, be like, yo, I know, I know you're looking at me because you want to get me naked. So listen, that's what we're gonna do. Um, you're gonna meet me in the back over there real quick, and then we're gonna start kissing and touching, and after that. You know, because I know you want to get this dick, I'm going to take you out the spot. You see what I mean? Like, I'm telling her that she wants it. I'm telling her that she wants to make it happen. So what happens is, is that when you're telling the chick this, right, what's going on in her subconscious mind is, see, remember, the, the, when you say shit, it goes in the mind anyway. Exactly. You know I mean? So when a woman says, we ain't going to have sex tonight, guess what she's thinking about? Sex. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Called it's called the power of suggestion. Exactly. You understand? But again, this is why this is why we talk about your language exposes you. This is why I talk about be you know having having good command of of the language. You know whatever whatever language, the language of the land. You know what I'm saying? So if you live someplace, if you live in a foreign country, make sure you understand the language so you could. Right. It's all about expression. You understand? It's all about expression, and you know. I know a lot of y'all be doing, you know, I know y'all be, I know a lot of y'all be doing or be committing, you know, uh, uh, you know, typos in the chat because y'all trying to type fast. But mm. also, as, also, I know a lot of y'all niggas, like when it comes to grammar and, 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 and vocabulary choices, mm. a lot of y'all dudes is weak. Mm-hmm. Right. You understand? And, and, you know, I, you know, far be it, I'm not going to sit here and call y'all niggas illiterate or nothing like that, but. I know a lot of y'all niggas would do a much better if you had more command of the English language. Like right. when when your teachers in school was telling you to pay attention in, in, in English class, you should have been paying attention, nigga. Right, right, exactly. You know what I'm saying because a lot of y'all niggas sound foolish to a bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You understand? And shit, half the time the bitch ain't even that educated, but simply because you're you don't have a full command of the English language, right? It holds you back. Right. Exactly. You know, because the only way to overcome that is if you truly have a good grasp on your own identity where it don't give a it don't matter what come out your fucking mouth. You you just so confident and sure of yourself that you can express yourself regardless. Mm-hmm. But not, a lot of y'all are not like that. A, a lot of y'all still are working on the confidence. And what mm-hmm. I'm saying is if you had a command of the language that you're speaking, you understood grammar, you understood how to speak, you understand how to express yourself. It, it will put you in a better position. You see what right. I'm saying? But a lot of y'all, I can tell y'all niggas is remedial. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you understand? And I'm again, I'm not saying this to insult anyone. I'm saying this for you to recognize where you're at so you can know what, what type of work you got to put in. Right. Exactly. <clears throat> and, 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 and the thing with the mouthpiece, man, that you guys got to understand is that it also comes with you. You have to be confident in saying what you're saying. You know what I mean? And you got to believe it and you got to feel it so that the woman could feel it. You know what I'm saying? And so that's the thing where you end up turning her on because you're taking her on a ride with your words. You're taking her on a journey with the the shit you're saying. So a lot of times and guys just be on some regular platonic. So how's your day? And, you know, you come here often and all that. Like you just talk the whole time like that. It's kind of like, yeah, y'all are talking, but there's nothing happening in the situation to cause her to jumpstart that sort of like energy in the situation. You feel what I'm saying? To, to make it to where it's like that. You feel what I mean? To get it into that, that sort of motor, that mindset. You see what I mean? Uh, but let's take some calls real quick. We'll go to 210 and then 734. So 210, what's popping? Who this? Yo, yo, what's good? What's good, family? Oh, shit. K Zagging in the building. What's going on, fam? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What up, what up? 
Look, let, 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 let me highlight my comrades real quick. And I just want to say, because y'all talked about the mouthpiece earlier, and I think a lot of guys, they underestimate that. They right. they want to look for shortcuts. Mm-hmm. This is why niggas talk about looks my status. Hey, let's get a bitch by any means necessary without talking to a bitch. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? they, mm-hmm. but they, they forget that. And, and, and you, you just said just now, number one, women are, are they're auditory. Right. So, so more, more so than us, like, like we don't need a bitch to say nothing sexy to us, but us to get in the mood. Mm-hmm. All she got to do is get next. Like, I'm, I'm ready to fuck you. Right. But, but, but with women, now it doesn't mean that women can get, you know, hot and bothered by the way that a, a nigga look naked. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times women, you, you got to say shit to them to kind of get the juices flowing. Right. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. this is why people don't get, this is why I, when, when dude, for all you dudes that be giving y'all numbers to women, mm-hmm. and you just say, hey, call me. Right. You'll never get a call. Mm-hmm. Because you're looking at, why? Right. <laughs> why am I going to call you? This, you got you, you to set the stage. You got to, you got to set the tone. You got to plant the seeds mm-hmm. of sexual attention. You got to, then you got to water that shit. Mm-hmm. And the way that you water it is you say shit to the, to the chick that makes her wonder about you. Right. I'm saying, and, and I don't understand why niggas don't get this. They, they, they still don't understand that what you say to a woman mm-hmm. matters. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It matters. This is why, this is why like, like, I think, L, you said it earlier when you were talking about, oh, yeah, chick think you look good, but she ain't really trying to fuck with you. Mm-hmm. It's because you ain't saying nothing that's getting her hot and bothered. Right. Exactly. You're, you're your conversation doesn't match your look. Mm-hmm. Right. It don't match your look. This exactly. is why niggas who look average can get pussy. Mm-hmm. Because your conversation, like, I, I, I had somebody tell me one time, damn, you're like, you're five foot nine, nigga, but your conversation was six foot five. I'm like, I know what it is. Uh, <laughs> I know what it is. I, I love it. I love it. Exactly. I, I talk like a nigga that, like, I should be a linebacker for somebody. I don't look the part, but I talk the part. Mm-hmm. And, and, and when you're consistent with that, chicks are looking at you like, ooh, why, why, are you, why are you talking like that? He, talking, he, he got the goods. I'm curious, man. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm going to go to your house. I'm, I'm going to see what this nigga talk about. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So, so even though she might not know what she's getting herself into, she's so curious and so captivated and mm-hmm. so enthralled and, and, and just the intrigue is there. You got her on the strip of that. Right. This is why I think it's funny. Like, the niggas, when they call up to y'all's show and they say, I was flirting with her, and y'all are like, what name's a single flirt? What do you mean you were flirting? Mm-hmm. And then niggas was like, I, 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 I said hi and I said she's cute. Right. And I'm like, that's not flirting, nigga. Mm-hmm. It's not flirting. Look, <laughs> y- gentlemen, and I'm going to end it with this. I know this y'all show, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to hold this shit hostage. <laughs> you, you, can, you can playfully flirt with a chick, but flirting is really. You letting a woman know that you want to fuck her, mm. and, and she feels the vibe sexually. Right. Now, you might not be X-rated with your shit, but your your behaviors in conjunction with your words mm. is like you letting her know what you're trying to do. Right. And she feels the energy behind it, and either she responds to it favorably or she doesn't. Right. Real flirting is like, hey, no, 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 and, and I'm I'm just, I'm just gonna get to say, hey, hey, damn, you 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 cute. What's up? Hey, girl, hey, let me, let me, let me holler at you. Let me, let me talk to you for a second. So now, let's say for the sake of argument, y'all having a conversation, and you just tell her, mm. Look, I, I got a sexy man, you cute. You, you, them lips. Don't, you got some sexy ass lips. You, right. you think my lips are cute? <laughs> the last time I had lips like that around my dick, this shit felt good. <laughs> so, I mean, there's a whole lot of whole things you can say, mm. but, but and you ain't even got to be excited with it. But what I'm saying is, when, when when you're flirting, the woman knows beyond a shadow of a doubt. He, he's trying to he's trying to get in my draw. He's trying right. to fuck me. Right. And then she responds to that flirting. Mm-hmm. The, the problem with the average guy, you're friendly. There's nothing to respond to. Right. That's, that's, that's my point, man. Right. Y'all got it, man. I'm, I'm gonna holler at y'all tomorrow, man. That's the sum, man. Appreciate the call, my brother. Yeah, and check us out tomorrow. Real game no theory at noon. Yeah, we're gonna make that shit happen. Thanks. Um, let's go to uh 734. 734. Hold on, hold on. I just wanna this popped up on my Facebook. I just want to say for all my niggas, for looks, money, and status, mm. as uh, you know, just be grateful you don't look like this nigga. Oh my god, y'all, you terrible! <laughs> no, 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 I'm not making fun. I'm not making fun. Like he's he looked like some type of burn victim or something. What I'm make, I'm trying to make the point that for all these niggas that think they're too ugly to get girls, 
Mm. I'm saying be like be thankful that you don't look like this nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like he's right. he's a victim of some type of fuckery in mm. his life. Right. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is niggas be thankful for what because I'm sure it's a nigga out there that yo, I wish I wasn't so short. But do you you rather be short or you rather look like this nigga? Mm. See what I'm saying? Like, so be thankful for what all I'm saying is be thankful. Cause when I when this fucking picture popped up on my on my feed, I was like, oh shit. Right. I was like, my, 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 none of my problems mean anything at this point. <laughs> I'm stupid. So let's go to uh, 734, 734. What's poppin'? Who this? Yo, what's up? This is Jamie. I donated, bro. Appreciate it, appreciate it, bro. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? I got a two questions. Uh well, I started this job, right? Mm. And um, it's like working around like a lot of uh, females and shit like that. Mm. But it's like in the upper class. Um, I take like people throughout the airport. They're like in first class, whatever. You know, people are waiting with the the tablet that's escorting them around and shit like that. Mm. Like the first class and shit. Right. So I started doing that shit. And um, I've been noticing because of, like with the last all this like the like the vaccine shit. I had a girl that I was fucking with. She, she helped me get around that shit. So mm-hmm. I've been noticing like a lot of girls can like really help you do shit other than just like it sounds fucked up, but other than just give you pussy. Mm-hmm. So like I meet a lot of business women and shit like that, right? So how do you how do I make the best out of that situation as far as like with the what type of women I'm gonna be meeting or whatever? Because I noticed like a lot of them are really willing to help you out with certain shit. So you're saying how do you make the best out of this a situation where a woman is trying to help you? Well, I'm saying like I'm gonna be like you know, like a, a girl I dated one time, her dad was like a millionaire, like construction. Uh, he owned a construction company, mm. and like he was helping me with certain shit and whatever. But we we end up breaking up because they end up moving and shit. Mm. But I realized like a lot of connections can happen through women. Mm. So how do you navigate? Mm. Like uh, if you're in a workplace where you're going to be meeting women that are uh, in a certain class, and they can give you certain opportunities, or is that something you don't do? No. Well, this is the thing. You can get women to help you with different situations, you know, in whatever type of circumstance you're in. But the, this is the this is the thing, though. You got to also look at what is your what is your situation and relationship to that woman. So if it's a woman that's that's just like uh, associate that you're not like hooking up with or dating or whatever, then she can help you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying with whatever. You understand what I'm saying now? If you hooking up with a girl or dating a chick. <clears throat> then you got to mm-hmm. think about what is she helping you with? Because the thing is this. So a lot of, a lot of guys make the mistake of getting with a woman that they're hooking up with or dating or whatever it is. And they'll try to get this woman to do like a lot of shit for them. Right. Or big things for them for, at the right. beginning. So what you don't want to do is, is that if it's, if it's a woman you're dating or hooking up with and y'all just started, mm-hmm. let's say you've been seeing her for like two months, three months or whatever, you don't want her to do or, or you don't want to ask her to do big things for you. You understand what I'm saying? Because what happens right. is if you ask her to do big things, then she's going to think she's more important than she is at two months into the situation. So, for example, if, I, if I'm if i dating a girl or let's say I'm hooking up with a girl and I've been, I only fucked her like six times. I've been seeing her for like maybe two months or whatever. And I say, yo, let me borrow $5,000. You understand what I'm saying? Now she could give me the five thousand right. dollars, but then if I if I take the five thousand dollars, then that means that I have elevated her at a, in a higher position in my life because I've asked her for a, a big thing for her to invest in me. You see what I'm saying? Which can cause drama later because I'm asking her for something big and she's not at the the place where she's at that level where she should be doing big things for me at that moment. You understand what I'm saying? Now. If this has been a chick I've been fucking with for a year and a half, two years, and let's say she's my girl, and I say, hey, let me borrow $5,000 to do this thing, then that makes sense because now she's at a point where she could, she can do that and she can feel like she's that important in my life. Do you see what I'm saying? So the, the things that you ask a woman to do or tell a woman to do for you have to be in correlation to how important she is to you at the moment. So if you're dating a chick for two months, tell her to go get you some soda at the store or some shit while she's on her way to your crib. That's one thing, but you don't want to, you know, get her to do anything big. But if it's a woman that you're not dating or fucking, and it's just a associate or somebody, you know, then they could do whatever because there's none of that type of situation between you and that woman. You you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Cause I actually, I think I I actually fucked up a little bit with that. Like Mm -hmm. uh, recently, well not recently, but like within the past few months, 
mm-hmm. because I was, I was talking to this shit that I knew from my high school that I used to fuck with on and off. Mm-hmm. And uh, she helped me out. She was a pharmacist and shit. So I'm not going to get into detail, but right. she helped me out with certain shit. So I didn't have to, you know, I didn't have to uh, be an experiment, if you will. Mm-hmm. So she helped me get around that. But I'm like, trusting her with that, even though I've known her for a while, is like actually giving her a lot of power. Mm-hmm. So like, when we stopped talking and shit, she's starting to date a new dude. So I'm like, damn, like, if if I need a favor or some shit like that later on relating to that, you know, God forbid something happens, whatever, you know, where is my, how 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 much is my influence now that she's like, now that, you know, we don't really fuck with each other like that. Yeah. So like, that's what I was asking too, like as far as like taking risks like that, because um, like, even if you go into business or something like that, is there a difference as far as what you should look for as far as uh, like a woman that's helping you out and that's that type of thing or what? No, I mean, if it's like business, versus- if, if it's business is whatever, it's like any type of business situation. You know what I mean? What I'm saying is if you're getting a woman that you're hooking up with or dating to, to help you with shit or you're asking her to do shit, you got to make sure that the shit you're asking her to do or help you with isn't, extravagant if she's not at that level you see what i'm saying that's that's what i'm saying so right. yeah if it's just business it's whatever you can you can you know do certain things make deals make shit pop regardless of how big or small it is but if it's a woman you fucking with that's like part of your situation you don't want to really do it and, and even to the point where sometimes you don't even want to accept big things from a chick that you fucking with yeah. that you know what i'm saying that early yeah, you understand what i'm saying because again that's she's gonna I'm feel saying. entitled and you know what i'm saying in that type of situation you see yeah, what i mean I'm saying, i feel like even though she's like dealing with another dude or whatever i feel like i gotta like be, be cordial with her and shit like that mm-hmm. because of how much she like you know because you know I, it would put her at risk too if she said some shit but i would i just thought about this situation but uh i'm gonna let y'all go in a minute but i was just uh, Cause y'all know how I am, and shit. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but this is the thing. Don't don't think don't think too much about it. But th- all I'm saying is is just look at the situation you're in with the woman. Is she a chick I'm fucking with, or she's just chick that's an associate that I'm you know uh, doing some business with? And if she's a chick you fucking with, just tread lightly. But if she's a chick you're doing some business with, then it, you know, and that's it. Then it is what it is. I don't even really make you know that much of a difference, man. But yo, I appreciate the call, my brother. We are gonna get a uh, four eight four and then seven one three four eight four. What's popping? Who this? Yeah, man. Um, I got the cash app pulled up. I can't find it on the screen. Um, what what is this? So I can put it in real quick. It's at the top. It's right at the top. Just click the top. But what's what's your question, real quick? What's the question? Nah. Um. All right, so basically, uh, I'm about to go out and shit, and uh, this is my first time really going out by myself, so you got any advice or tips? Nigga, just fucking... <laughs> Bro. Advice or tips for what, nigga? What are you talking about? What are you trying to do? Don't forget your ID, nah. nigga. That's a tip. Don't forget your ID so you could get into the bars and the clubs, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, yeah, what are, you, what are you trying to do? I'm what going you trying to... myself. Do you have any tips? Yeah. What are you trying to do? Bro, if you can't even ask a specific question, how the fuck you supposed to let a bitch know what you want? That, that, was, that was the question. Yeah, but what? But what do you want? What do you want to happen when you go out there tonight? Shit, I'm trying to get some yams tonight. Okay, so then you approach the chicks and tell them that's what you're trying to do, and look out for the women who's out there by themselves. This nigga. All right, cool. Appreciate it, man. All right, bro. And hit that, hit that fucking cash yeah, out, bro. I ain't mean to fuck, I ain't mean to fuck, you, I mean to fuck your, your day up, my, my bad. <laughs> nah, nigga, nah, nigga. You, 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 you motherfuckers be beating around the bush so much, and y'all so fucking scared to say what y'all really want, and y'all sound like pussies even when you call up just to ask a fucking question, bro. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is, if you want something in this world, you at least gotta have the balls to say it. Right. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Don't fucking call up beating around the bush like, uh, excuse me, uh, 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 you got any tips? Yeah, nigga, don't forget your fucking wallet so you can buy a drink. Don't forget your ID, nigga. What, like, what do you want, nigga? If you, if you can't even say it, how do you expect to get it? Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Y'all niggas, be, y'all niggas be sounding like fucking six-year-olds asking your mother if you could stay up late to watch, to watch, you know, to play video games or something. Y'all niggas is so scared, bro. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. If you want the yams, tell them you want the yams, man. That's it. That's all you gotta do. It's not. It's not hard, B. It's nah. not hard. You know what I'm saying? 
It's not I, hard. You yeah, just gotta nah, find the jits. I, I, I get with y'all, fam. All right, bro. I fuck with y'all. Appreciate it. All right, man. Appreciate the call, man. All right. I think this is a monogamous player. Monogamous player. What's popping? Who this? Yes, sir. You already know it's the monogamous player. Uh, I donated. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So what's going on? What's going on? Hey, uh, yeah, this one thing I just want to say is, and I'm glad that you brought up that last point, Mr. Lucario, about the importance of mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. And I just want to, you know, give a testimony to mouthpiece because uh, one thing about mouthpiece, when you have a good mouthpiece, mm -hmm. like mouthpiece, or having a good mouthpiece will actually put you in situations where you, where you didn't even see the pussy coming. Mm -hmm. Like I actually been in situations or me and my friend, my partner, we've been in situations where we just talking to females and then just me talking to a female, I didn't even realize or I soon realized that, oh, damn, this chick right here feeling me or whatever the case may be. Then all of a sudden, I'm in a situation or whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. So let me just tell you about this one situation where mouthpiece, and honestly, like, when guys think about mouthpiece, they just think about, oh, it's, just talk it's all about talking smooth to a female and shit like mm -hmm. that. I mean, yes, that plays a part, but it's really about just be being 100% you. Mm -hmm. And when you be 100% you, everything is going to flow naturally with the right female, right? Right. You right. know what I'm saying? So uh, uh, back in the day, maybe like a few years ago, I used to Uber and Lyft. Or whatnot. Mm. So what I used to do is uh, when I used to Uber and Lyft certain females, I would tell them like, "Hey, uh, take my number down, and you can use my service outside of Uber." You know what I'm saying? Right. If you you know uh, uh, work work near me, or you stay near me, or whatever the case may be, or whatnot. Right. So it was this one female that uh, I picked up. And when I picked up, she was like, oh, uh, you don't remember me, but I went to high school with you, but you was, you know, you was a senior, I was a freshman, but you played football with my club cousin, da, 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 whatever. So, of course, I gave her that offer of saying, you know, hey, hit me up, you can just, you know, hit my line whenever you need me to pick you up, right? So I picked up a couple of times, a few times, and, you know, we just chopping it up, and I am a guy that likes to just have a, a good conversation with anybody or whatever the case may be, right? Mm. So a little bit further down the line, I got a random text message, right? And you know, like those memes where people be saying shit on memes, but it was one of those memes where like a girl is saying that, oh, this guy don't even know that I really want to smash. Right. Or whatnot, right? Mm. So when she sent that, she 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 takes me back laughing and said, oh man, I didn't mean to send that to you. I meant to send that to my friend. Mm. So I automatically knew, I was like, but you, you know, but damn, you're talking about me, right? She feel like, yeah, I am. So I that, that automatically put me in a situation for me to set up that coconut oil massage appointment. And then we got it popping. And mm. ever since after that, you know, we actually had a good, a pretty good, you know, a fuck buddy situation for a while. Right. But as I say, just me being myself, I didn't even know. I was just keeping it on some business shit. Mm. You see what I'm saying? But she opened the door to, 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 you know what I'm saying? To want that dick and to want to be consistent with me. So that's what I'm saying. Like one thing about uh, having a good mouthpiece, sometimes it will put you in situations where you didn't even see the pussy coming. Right. Thank y'all. Y'all have a great night. That's the summit. Right. Appreciate the call, my brother. All right, so let's uh, we're gonna take um, we're gonna do some of these uh, questions and then we're gonna head up out of here in a minute. But if you guys want to call in, you got like five minutes left, so if you want to call in, call in. Um, but let's get some of these questions real quick. So it says, Are y'all aware of any coaches in Texas who hold boot camps? Uh, I have no idea, I don't know. No. <laughs> For the other question, so how do you have a balance between having high confidence versus? Having a big ego, will having a big ego be a detriment to my game? Yes, it will ha be a detriment to your game having a big ego. Uh, because this is the thing. If, you, if you're if you confident, if you're like really confident, your confidence have nothing to do with ego. Right. right. That's what I like. Because ego is more so about, you know, you sort of looking at yourself as like a character or, you know, seeing yourself as this certain thing and then believing that you are this character you built up in your head. You understand what I'm saying? And so what happens is, is that in order to protect the ego or to keep your ego intact, right? You're going to either do certain things to feed the ego, or you're going to avoid certain things to keep the ego intact. So for example, if you have a big ego, then you probably not going to really approach a bunch of girls because you're going to be scared that they're going to reject you. And then that's going to basically be a shot to your ego. Cause then now you're going to be like, Oh, but I thought I was like this cool ass nigga that all these bitches wanted, but now they show me they not because they, they rejected me. So what you're going to do is you're going to wait for choosing signals. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So a lot of niggas with big egos wait for choosing signals because they don't want to actually put themselves out there so that their ego can be tested or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? So that's the thing. But a confident motherfucker, he believes he's the shit regardless. And his 
you know, sense of self does not depend upon what everybody else is doing outside the situation. Right. The ego depends on how everybody else is going to act towards them. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, the ego, the yeah. ego cares what everybody else thinks. Exactly. Confidence, confidence doesn't. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. Um, it says, uh, let me see. It already went to so many. So it says, uh, a 20 year old bitch from the gym that looks at me with lust got very nervous and walked away. And when I brought up sex on our first conversation, did she get nervous because she's not used to upfront men? What? What are you talking about? He, he tried to, this guy tried to ask this question earlier on with, with K Zag. Mm. Yeah. I think he's saying that he tried to holler at it. He saw he was getting choosing signals from a bitch at his gym. Mm. And when he brought up sex, she walked away. Mm. So trying to, he's again, niggas is trying to figure out why bitches do shit right, exactly. time once again. But <laughs> niggas just love doing this, I guess. Right. Uh, yeah. It's like, I don't know why they care. He's trying to figure out if she's nervous because she's just not used to guys being direct. OK, let's say that's the case. So what? You see what I'm saying? You still ain't fucking her, right? So what's the what's the issue? You see what I mean? So what difference does it make? Uh, do you think our mean signals are more emotional than the average man? Uh, no. <laughs> Niggas just be doing a job and shit singing. Uh, should you never tell a woman why you don't f with her and just charge her without an explanation? Yeah, that's it. Listen, if it's if you dealing with a chick that you smash like once or twice you ain't got to be going on the phone and be like hey listen you know uh i can't see you anymore no it's like whatever i'm just not gonna fuck with you like that but if it's like you know a chick you've been kicking with for like months and years you know what i'm saying then yeah you, you have a conversation look this is the situation look here's here's the best way to charge a chick tell her i'll reach out to you when i'm ready to hang out again mm. Right, exactly. <laughs> That's a good one too, because it's just like, all right, you're done. But if I do decide, then whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Uh, so this one says, if a woman flakes on a date, no call uh, on. Wait, no call. It's like I guess saying no show on show, and later offers to reschedule. Should I give her another chance or charge her to the game? Nah, charge her to the game, bro. So you talking about if a chick flakes on a date and it doesn't show up or like, man, get her ass out of there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Y'all got y'all gotta start getting used to just like continuing to just keep the shit moving. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, guys, remember time is your most valuable resource. Mm -hmm. You understand? Instead of worrying about why a woman did this and why she walked away and this woman and this, that, and that, yo, it, is she with it or is she like it's very simple, it's very easy. Mm. If she's with it, move forward. If mm -hmm. she's not, move on to the next. Right. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. If she's with it, continue. If she's not, move on to the next. Right. Exactly. It's really that simple. I don't want to. Y'all niggas be making this shit super hard. Like, I don't really give a fuck about trying to make a bitch like me. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I, I'm just going. I'm just going from bitch to bitch to bitch to find the ones that do. Right. Period. Exactly. So it says, uh, can an ugly guy have sex appeal? Yes. Because what you have to say in the sex appeal is a combination of your looks, appearance, and behavior. So a guy who's ugly, his appearance and behavior, right, can override the look. Do you see what I'm saying? Because a woman can still want to fuck him. Just like, for example, there are women who you might not even think are that cute, but you still want to fuck her, right? You see what I'm saying? Right. She, she got a fat ass. She got some big titties. Then you still want to fuck. So you might be like, she don't look all that, but you still want to, you know, bend her over and smash. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? And so what happens is that a guy who's not, you know, a woman would consider ugly, right? She can still find him sexually appealing because of the way he comes at her. Now, the only thing is a chick just can't be repulsed by you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference. So a woman could think you're ugly and still fuck with you, but she just has to find something about you that she finds sexually appealing. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's one of the things where guys don't understand because for women, see, what, what a lot of dudes don't get is that, like I said earlier on, I said on another show, is that women don't really have an identity. 
You understand what I'm saying? And, and the thing is, I don't say that to sound fucked up. What I mean is, is that women don't identify with any one thing. Like, you know, like how a man, we, we say, look, this is what it is. This is how I like to do shit. And that's what the fuck it is. You understand? And then it's not to say that a man can't change because like a man can change. But usually it's like he'll change over time. You understand what I'm saying? Like 10 years ago, I used to do this. And now I do this 10 years later. But a woman is her shit changes daily. Hourly, hourly by fucking minutes minutely you see what i'm saying right you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that shit changes and it changes like the wind yes. based off of the fucking guy yep so what happens is is that a woman could say oh well i like guys who are six feet tall and look like this and yada 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 right. and then she, there's another guy who's absolutely not that <laughs> and she just for whatever reason because of the circumstance she wants to fuck with him Right. Because he said something, did something, uh, looked a certain way, whatever that made her feel the way she felt in the moment. Right. That causes her to act this way. That And, and, the, and the thing you guys got to understand is that women, th- they change their minds and they go with the wind every fucking second. This is why you can have a great conversation wo- with a woman, exchange numbers, and then you never hear from her again. Facts. You see what I'm saying? Because her mind just changed about you at that moment. Super facts, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or you be dealing with a chick you think shit ain't gonna pop off and then it just does because all of a sudden now she wanna get shit going. You see what I mean? It's it's crazy like that. So when y'all the motherfuckers like, oh, well, you know, this this guy, he looks this way so a woman is gonna fuck with him or he looks this way so women are gonna... No, y'all don't understand women. Women just go with the fucking wind and then women act differently towards different guys and then women are fucking susceptible to how this guy is going to be and the other guy is going to be, which is going to cause her to act this way with this dude and act this way with another nigga. It's crazy. Do you know sometimes a woman would rather fuck the ugly nigga because she's too insecure to fuck the guy who's better looking? Do you see what I'm saying? They don't understand that shit. Listen, I would have a fucking... I was at a goddamn uh, orgy party once and this shit blew my mind because there was a chick there I wanted to smash, right? And she ended up smashing this. And, and this is the thing. She didn't smash me, but she went and smashed this other nigga. And the nigga looked like a homeless fucking Santa Claus or some shit. Like the nigga had this long ass, dusty ass beard. You feel what I'm saying? Dude was like he 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 wasn't he wasn't fat, but he was super scrawny and shit. You understand? The nigga look homeless, so she's fucking the homeless looking nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just scratching my head, like, really? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and I'm I'm just looking at this shit, like, see, this is the type of shit niggas don't see, right? You understand what I'm saying? Like, in, in a million years, you wouldn't have thought that she'd be fucking this nigga. <laughs> now, now I don't know why she's fucking him. And it doesn't matter. But the right. fact is, she is. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. so the thing is, is that a lot of dudes don't get that where you you don't really know what makes a woman sexually attracted to another man. You don't you have no idea. You don't you have no idea. Right. Exactly. As you said, Locario's still salty about that. I, I, yo, I told him I talked about this shit before. Too. <laughs> yo. Yeah, because niggas be thinking I'm talking out my ass. Yo, there's so many times where I've been in situations like that where I've seen a dude who most of these niggas on the internet would be like, yo, he's a sub five and he's this and he's that. And he get with this hot bitch. And I'm just like, word, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see this shit all the fucking time. So when these niggas on the internet be talking this shit, I'm like, y'all don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. I'm like, y'all have no idea what y'all talking about. Because if y'all actually just went outside... Mm-hmm. And, and seeing this shit, y'all y'all would be like, "Wow, like this is fucking crazy. This is fucking crazy." So it just is what it is, man. Uh, all right, so we are gonna go six four six, and we are gonna head up out of here. Uh, six four six was popping. Who this? Oh, oh damn, I ain't even got to pay yet. Hold on, hold on one second. What's wrong with y'all niggas? Is, is this is this Shia? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Shia from Brooklyn. Come on, Shia, you know better than that, man. Come on, you. <laughs> It's not, I'll be, yeah, he picked up quick. Now nah, I'm paying right now. All right, so, right now. so what's going on with you, man? What's going on with you? Um, I have a quick question. Um, mm. about the the guy, um, the 19 year old who was on the pineapple show. I just have a kind of a, a question about that. Right. 
Yeah, um, and okay. so, yeah, I thought he was he was um, okay. But my question is, even though he was, I guess, engaging her in a conversation, mm-hmm. which I personally have engaged women in conversations, mm-hmm. which they were talking. I, you know, I was trying to get them to 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 to, to talk pretty much, mm-hmm. but it didn't lead to to intimacy or sex. Mm-hmm. So, is it possible that even though he was engaging her? He still might not have, if he was of age, you know, the age that she preferred, mm. he still might not have gotten sex, even though it was in an engaging conversation. Mm. So was that really a good game if it didn't lead to sex? No, that's not what, not that's not, to? that wasn't the point of the show, though. So the point of the show okay. is, is that these guys get on there and then the chicks cut them off and they say pineapple and get them out of there. The point is he got on the okay. show they didn't do that because they were engaged in a conversation and then he cut them off. Do you see what I'm saying? So, so the point okay. was, was that he was able to stay on this, on the situation without them having, without them doing that, meaning that he had enough influence over the situation to control the dynamic of the situation and have them not even do the thing that they were supposed to be doing. So what, so essentially what he did was is that he got into their into the situation and he took over. So that that's that was the basically the point of it. So it wasn't about like, oh, is he gonna get with her and have sex with her? That's that's besides the point. So what, what I was saying in that video when I was talking about it be him having game is that he actually came in there, he was able to control the dynamic of the conversation, he got the girl talking about her herself, had the girl qualifying to him. You see what I'm saying? So he was able to make those moves based off of his conversation skills and his mouthpiece. You see what I'm saying? Okay, that um, that in the context of the show, he had game. Right, that's what I'm saying. So the point of that okay, that that okay. situation was strictly that it wasn't about like is she gonna get with him and fuck him and do, that's besides the point. The point was is that he was okay. able to go into the into the situation and take over the situation and do what he needed to do. You see what I'm saying? Because the the point of the the point of game is a strategy to get what you want. All he wanted was to be able to get on there. And not get pineapple and to be able to have the woman following him. That's basically what he was doing. You see what I'm saying? Which he succeeded in doing that. You see what I mean? Um, okay, now just one more quick question. Mm. Um, if he was to like let's say that that was uh we take this conversation mm. outside of the show and it's actual date, mm. you know, you guys are wherever at the park at dinner. Mm. Would you say that that type of conversation is productive if the guy wants to, you know, at some point? Yeah, I mean, part of that is because, again, like I said, if he's able to control the dynamic of the conversation, right? What happens is, is that that becomes how the conversation is flowing and that becomes her being used to answering to him. See, this, this is the thing. Okay. So so what happens is this. This is this is why we talk about cooperation and compliance, because if I'm at if I'm at a if I'm at a bar and I'm sitting there and I'm talking to a, a woman and let's say, um, you know, in a bar, sometimes they have those little napkins and shit or whatever. So I say to her, yo, listen, pass me one of them, them napkins over there real quick. And then she does it without hesitation or just does what I'm saying. I'm, I've already just with that little thing implanted in her to do something for me and she did it she's following my direction already then i say yo let's move over to this couch over here it's it's, it's a little bit more comfortable she gets up we move over to the couch second thing she did that i told her to do right so now i'm doing all these things that she's doing all these things i told her to do so now what do you think is most likely to happen when i tell her hey let's get out of here She's going to continue to do the shit I'm telling her to do. So that's that's the point of, of doing all that. So when you're talking to the girl, what it is, if, if I'm asking her questions and she's complying with with what I'm saying and she's answering me and she's basically following my lead in the conversation, then that means that I've created a dynamic where she's following the lead in my conversation. You see what I'm saying? And then so what's going to most likely happen is, is that because she's following my lead in the conversation, then she's she's basically going along with what I'm doing. And if she's going along with what I'm doing, if what I want to do is this other thing, then she will follow that other thing that I want to do. You mm. see what I'm saying? So a lot of times what you're doing is, is that when you're interacting with these women, you're also testing them to test for compliance, to test for cooperation, to test to see how responsive she is to you in these situations. 
You see what I'm saying? So a lot of times what happens is, and the opposite is also true too. If, if you're saying to do something or trying to get her to make something happen and she's not complying, she's not being cooperative, that's already showing you right there that she's not willing to follow you. So if I'm on a dating app and I say, yo, listen, uh, you know, uh, text me your number. And she says, well, can we talk on here more? She's already showing that she's not following my lead because she's not doing what I'm saying. So what would be the point of me even trying to get her out on a date if already she's showing me she's not listening to what the fuck I'm saying? You see what I mean? So what it is is that you're looking for consistent cooperation, consistent compliance. So what happened in that show was he was asking her these questions and then she was consistently responding and answering the questions. And then also she was consistently showing through her body language and her facial expressions that she was hanging on to what he was doing and what he was saying. You see what I mean? So that, that's what I'm saying, where you got to look out for the, all those things, which, which basically matter in the situation. You see what I'm saying? Got you. Got you. All right. Well, um, I mean, thanks for adding that, that perspective. Um, yeah. Appreciate yes. it. Yes, sir, man. Appreciate the call, my brother. Make sure you hit that uh, that donate yeah. button, man. That's what's up. Exactly. King Zach is implanting the seed of submissiveness. Facts. <laughs> Y'all got to understand how deep this game is, man. <laughs> you got to understand how deep this fucking game is, man. Oh, my goodness. That's, the, the game is is deep out here, man. Let me answer this question real quick, and then we're going to head up out of here. It says... Uh, if you're messing with a girl who gives you money, but I don't enjoy the sex as much, I still have sex with other girls I'm very attracted to on the side, but this one gives gives so much to me. Thoughts? Okay, well, listen, bruh, let me tell you something. Again, you can continue to, 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 to fuck with her and all this other shit, but the problem with that is also, too, is, and this is what I was saying earlier, is that if you're not really feeling her and, and, and the situation ain't going nowhere, you understand what I'm saying? By you continuing to take money from this chick, she's going to start to think that there's more to the situation than it is. Right. And when you start to pull back because you're not really feeling her like that, then you're going to experience drama. You understand? See, what you got to understand too also is that when a woman gives you money, Right. That's actually her showing that she has extreme interest in you because she's trying to do more than just be a hole. You're fucking. Mm. So she knows that you fucking her fucking this girl, fucking that girl. So if she knows you're fucking multiple women, how does she stand out from the other women? Give you money, buy you gifts, do things for you outside of the pussy. So this girl who's doing something for you outside of the pussy, which is giving you money, that means that she's showing that she's actually she actually has more um, interest in you. So now a woman who has more interest in you than the others, but you have less interest in her than the others. That is a recipe for drama. That's all I'm saying. So, so, so you could you could you know, what I'm saying you could still fuck whatever you want, but just understand you're preparing yourself for drama. Because the fact that you ain't feeling it, you, you're naturally probably going to end up falling back at some point and feeling some time. You know, you're just like, eh, I'm not really feeling or whatever. And because she's invested so much more in you, she's going to be like, yo, what's up? And texting you, calling you. Oh, how come this? How come that? Blah, blah, blah. And she's going to feel some type of way because she feels like she's invested more than the average chick. You mm. understand what I'm saying? Right. That's the thing. It's just like when niggas take a chick out on three dates and he still don't get no pussy. He feels some type of way. You understand what I'm saying? He, you know what I mean? So she's going to feel some type of way. So that's why I said, you got to be, you see, guys, you got to be, there's it, nothing wrong with getting a woman to do shit for you, give you money, make shit happen. But you have to be very careful with that shit too. Because when you get a, a, per, a woman to invest in you a lot and you're not really feeling her like that and you know you ain't really trying to fuck with her like that, you know you ain't really trying to uh, make her no more than a fuck buddy or you, you just probably want to fuck her a few times and all this other shit. And then, you, you know, she's trying to buy you watches and pay for shit and do all this extra shit. Nigga, you're setting yourself up for drama. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Because, you know, there really ain't no free lunch. That's all I'm going to say. So, so you don't want to be, you know, accepting all this shit and thinking it's all good. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. That's what happens. Because I'm telling you, it happens on the opposite. And this is why you have a lot of women out there who get fucked up 
because they be accepting shit from niggas and then niggas is coming to collect. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> and then they feel like you owe them something. They, they feel like the chicks owe them something because they did all this shit. You see what I'm saying? Women are the same way. If you if you get a chick to invest all this shit and blah, 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 blah and you just kind of like, ah, whatever, fuck out of here. Drama is coming for your ass. And, and, and I feel like it's sometimes even worse when the women don't do it, you know, to you guys versus the guys doing it to the women because women, <sighs> bruh, it's, it's crazy. Like that video we just put up miles, the one that you did the, the uh, bad boy membership shit with the girl and he hit her in the fucking washing machine or some shit. <laughs> and then his girl came through to the crib talking about your wish. Yeah, baba. drama. You know, right. because chicks don't give a fuck. Remember, Women, women, listen, let me tell you something, man. See, men are put on the earth to, to have order. See, women are out of order because women, women are, see, women are actually more connected to the moment, if we're going to be honest. And what that means, but the, what the, the drawback to that is women don't really think, they just do. So, because they're connected to the emotion so so hard, they just fucking do. They okay. they, yeah. they, they do first and think later. You understand what I'm saying? So, so when she's feeling that energy, that drama, and she wants to fuck you up on some shit, and and see women, women will fuck you up worse. See a, a nigga, he'll he'll be a, a bitch ass nigga and punch a chick in the face. Women will try to ruin your life. You understand that? I just want you to understand, like, women are like, I, I will destroy you. You understand? So don't don't fuck around. I'm just telling y'all, don't fuck around. So a lot of you guys who think I want to manipulate, lie, all that other shit, you might have got uh, away with it now. But one day you're going to fuck with the wrong chick and she's going to ruin your goddamn life. I'm telling you. So I don't fuck around out here. These chicks is crazy. I'm just telling you right now. They, they do first and think later. You know what I'm saying? Like, facts, facts. You, you, know what you know what I mean? It's crazy. But um, but yeah, man, anything else you want to say, Miles, before we wrap it up? Oh, you know what? I, I just want to say real quick about that about that video where the guy puts the girl in the, in the washing machine or the dryer. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking... Uh, like I got I look at things a certain way and I say to myself, man, if you have enough influence over a woman for her to put her entire body into a fucking washing machine or a or a dryer, a dryer, a clothes dryer machine. Right. Right. If you have the influence to do that for mm -hmm. a woman to be willing and he's like, yo, put your phone on silent. And she's like, OK, OK. Right. And she closes the door. She gets inside the machine. Mm -hmm. Then why do you have to lie to a bitch? Exactly. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Think, like, just think about it for a second. You have enough influence that a woman likes you enough mm. that she doesn't want to get you in trouble with your girl. So she's willing to stuff her entire body into a fucking household appliance. Right. <laughs> then wouldn't it just be easier for you to just be straight up with the bitches that you fucking with? Right. Exactly. <laughs> if she's willing to do all of that, then more than likely she's willing to share you with another woman so if if it came to it right right so it's like guys like like look at look at what you're doing like you hiding and doing all this acrobatic shit to try to hide to, to try to hide bitches to save an argument with your main bitch and it's like wait instead of doing all this mm -hmm. I just be straight up with these hoes and then they do what the fuck they got to do exactly and you know what the funny part about the video what wasn't the it was a white chick and she came in there talking all types of niggas and shit. <laughs> I was like, yo, you me, nigga, you got me fucked up. And she like, like, girl. I was like, yo, I didn't, even, I didn't even think about that whole shit, but yo, <laughs> yo, like that's how you know niggas games is weak. How you gonna have your white girl talking about nigga? You got me fucked up. <laughs> yo, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> oh man, Nick, I could never, bro. Could you imagine? Because I, I fuck with white women. Could you imagine? <laughs> my chick told my nigga, you got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. <laughs> you see fucking Dr. Umar Johnson in the background <laughs> with it looking like nigga. <laughs> that should be crazy. <laughs> oh, <brother>. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Umar. <laughs> Brother Lucario. Exactly. Uh, Brother Lucario, you see, this is why <laughs> this is 
exactly why <laughs> we don't make the races, my brother. Exactly right. When I start my school, my brother, I will not have any white women teaching any classes because if she gets angry at my black students, this could be the result of the dialogue that she chooses to use in the curriculum for the class. And <laughs> I cannot have that type of disparity and risk that type of exposure to the children. <laughs> exactly. That will never be open, my brother. <laughs> brother <Natalia>. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, man. You got okay. all types of fuck them. <laughs> Like it's pro pro black pro black Max and, and shit. <laughs> Nigger, you got me all types of fucked up. <laughs> Yo, I'm like, you got a bitch chilling in a fucking washing machine for you, right, bro? Just be honest, man. Oh, it's crazy, man. So listen, guys, um, we appreciate y'all, motherfuckers, all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? Fact. That's real shit. Real shit, man. Listen, uh, make sure you guys. Uh, go to badboymembership.com. Make sure you guys get up on that masculine identity membership coming soon. Yes. Uh, make sure you guys go to Patreon, patreon.com slash Mr. Locario. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit us up uh, tomorrow. Name, names a single um, yeah. that, uh, you know, real game, no theory. You feel what I'm saying? Uh -huh. so get that shit cracking. Um, yeah, yeah. Masculine, masculine identity membership. Listen, this shit, let me show y'all something. I'm going to show y'all something real quick. I'm gonna show you something real quick. It's actually, it's actually on. I got it on my phone right now, nigga. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, me, so it's, 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 hold on. Let me pull it, pull it to the. Hold on, my shit is active. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. See, you got the programs on there. Oh, uh oh, I can't show y'all what it is. You you start the program. Oh shit! Look at Miles. Miles in there spitting the game on the video. Oh, exactly. shit. so the masculine identity membership is is ready. So ready, it's, nigga. It's gonna be on. It's gonna be on soon. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, it's gonna man. be on yeah. soon. You know what I mean? So make sure you guys uh be prepared to make that happen, man. Be prepared right. to make that happen because that's gonna be coming out real soon. You feel what I'm saying? And it's going to be tight. That shit going to be crazy. You feel what I mean? Make sure y'all make that shit happen. Um, and uh, yeah, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Check us out tomorrow, 12 noon for the Real Game No Theory panel, man. Right. And, and, and also, um, 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 check me out on the 6th uh, uh, Sunday evening at uh, 9 on with Donovan Sharp and shit. You know, shout out to them cats over there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Just... Really? You know, thanks for the support. Thanks for all y'all messing with us and everybody in the chat. Respect to y'all. All of the moderators. Respect mm -hmm. to y'all, man. We right. appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Respect to y'all. So, yeah. It is what it is. So, yeah, man. So, appreciate y'all. Uh, we will holler at you guys later. And remember, the truth is inside you. We out of here. Peace. We yeah. gone. Later. When it comes to being a man, it's about being that rock. It's about being stable. So, first, you're going to have to find discipline within yourself. Do you have that type of discipline? Do you even have the heart to be ruthless? Women need leadership. It is in their nature to seek out leadership. You know, you can't do a 99 because all that's part of a man. You got to do it 100. Apparently, these women out here having sex with somebody. Apparently, they're getting pregnant with somebody. <laughs> Shit, somebody getting some. You should look at something like hypergamy and allow it to inspire you to always be evolving, getting better, expanding, developing. There are things you know, the things you don't know. Then there are things you don't know you don't even know. There can be 10 of us in one room and there's one question and there's 10 correct answers, all different.